So how did you think to start this business and why? I started the business quite by accident. I was teaching adult dance in Newton at the community center and I taught this group of women and they were lovely. I taught them their ballet class one hour per week and they asked me if I would teach their children and sort of the rest is history. Location I mm -hmm. found to teach this one class. Then I worked for the community center again actually at Palmery House when I opened my first school called Dance Inc. because I wanted it to incorporate all different forms of dance. Right. And I opened the school by making posters myself handmade to which I affixed a pad of paper and pencil so that people could give me their mailing addresses. How did you decide to move to the old studio where that I started that? Where you started, Maddie, it was my third location, came as a result of me really taking what was a public offering at the community center. The school was really public at the time and making it my own. So I called it Joanne Langoni Dance Center. And we bought the building, we were able to buy the building. And I called it Joanne Langoni Dance Center to differentiate myself from, mm -hmm. from the person who was really actually teaching over there under dancing, which was me with a hundred students, one teacher, 100 students, wow. and that was me. The bills were very, very small, um, but there was no heat. So I would bang the pipes at around 3.15 before the classes started to sort of call up some heat. So we had two two problems. One was overcrowded classes, and the second problem was parking. But those are two things that we struggled with for a long time, and I had been looking for a building for a very, 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 very long time. You know, not easy in Newton to acquire space. When this came up, this building came up for sale. I was really dogged in making sure that we got it. And uh, we ran it, the renovation was enormous. You know, we had to turn and twist this entire building around. It was no longer recognizable for classrooms, as you know, and now the parking's a lot better mm -hmm. prepared. So I am now really the executive director of the school. So what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is I manage the managing directors. So that would be Jamie, Melly and Jen. And from there, they sort of manage all the other facets and divisions of the school. And I make sure that the, you know, that we stay afloat. <laughs> I make sure that everyone has what they need. My main thing is making sure teachers are happy. So when I engage with teachers, I look at their face. I make sure they're, they're happy. There's sort of nothing on their mind. Because I want them to be happy each and every day that they come in to teach. And I want them to be happy with students, uh, for their students. And so I think happy staff is a productive staff. So what do you think is the most important part of um, running a studio or a dance studio? What do you think? And I think that's the overriding message that I think has permeated the school in 40 years is that each lesson matters and each hour that you spend with, with students matters. Mm -hmm. So I don't sit back here in my office and think about things like I don't know, bills and this, and I don't worry about that. I worry about how we're doing downstairs. I worry right. about what we're doing downstairs. I worry about every parent I see and every student I see and every teacher I see and, I, and making sure that we're all fitting well together. That makes sense. That's a huge... Because I feel like it, it all comes from... It's kind of like in a, like when you go to a store and like the employee is like greeting you and like exactly. makes you feel comfortable. That's where it all like happens. Yeah, and that's really stuff. happy, not just putting on, but really happy. Yeah. You know, we're it's very yeah, customer centric. And when I say customer centric, I know that sounds like a business term, but we really care that every student is placed in the right class, that mother's happy with what she has paid for that class right. and that she got her daughter into the right classes and that the students are thriving. Um, what do you hope for the studio in the years to come and what are you most excited about for the 40th anniversary? I think the sky's the limit with this school. I think that if we keep on doing what we're doing, our reputation is going to be forged forever for the next 40 years. And I think that's the most important to me, important thing to me. The legacy for me is to make sure that no matter who's here and who's at the helm, that this school holds to the tenets that it began with, which are properly trained students, an excellent education in the suburbs of Boston for the Newton community.